Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Project SBC. Welcome to the first video for the channel. Today I want to talk about my upcoming projects and introduce you to my favorite single board computer, the Latte Panda Alpha. So before I talk details about my first project, let me briefly introduce you to the Latte Panda Alpha and why this will be at the heart of many of my projects to come. Underneath this fan sits a 7Y30 Core M3 processor with Intel HD 615 integrated graphics. It's powerful enough to run many emulators, including GameCube, Wii, and some PS2 titles. And of course, earlier generation consoles. It can also run a lot of modern titles, as long as they aren't too demanding. One of the other features I love about this board is the number of ways you can power it. We have USB Type-C power delivery. We have a 12 volt JST connector. And we also have a 8 pin battery connector located right here. There's also a EDP display connector and touch panel connector that pair nicely with the 7 inch touchscreen display that Latte Panda sells. Another really cool feature about this board is the M.2 M key connector. Not only can you add a SATA 3 or NVMe solid state drive, but you can take advantage of the four lane PCIe configuration to add a adapter, which would give you access to something like a desktop graphics card. This would greatly expand the gaming capability of this little board. In summary, this computer can handle a wide range of games, has diverse power methods, all packaged into a very slim profile. This would make an excellent on the go gaming platform. So my first project will be to develop a gaming platform. The first question I had to ask was, what kind of controller would I use with this board? Thankfully, Nintendo gave me the answer. The Joy-Cons. These added several layers to the project. Some things to consider were, what capacity could they function as a unified gaming controller on something other than the Nintendo Switch. Also, could I get them to dock with whatever assembly I made? After several days of researching and one painful night troubleshooting, I was actually able to answer one of those questions and get these two Joy-Cons to function as one unified X input controller with analog support. I also came up with some creative ways to get them to actually dock with the Latte Panda assembly that I'm creating. Slowly but surely the project was starting to take shape. I knew eventually I'd have to get into the 3D modeling realm. So I took to the computer, started modeling some of my components, and also bought a 3D printer. So here's my work up until this point. As you can see, it greatly resembles the Nintendo Switch, which I guess was kind of my intention. On the back side here, we have a cover, which if I lift this up, will show the Latte Panda Alpha at its heart. And that's all I have up to this point. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe. If all prints well, I'll post a video, hopefully next Friday, of the first prototype. Also, as my design matures, I will also post the 3D models for everything. I will also create a video on showing how to set up the Joy-Cons in Windows 10. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.